There's a place in Troy, Michigan, where if you join, you get the opportunity to give them all of your money. And if you become one of the very lucky, very many, you get to work for the ministry, or you get to move into a building where it's illegal to live, be forced to collect food stamps, and go on welfare, and then pay for the opportunity to do so. You get to work for 18 plus hours a day, and if you have children as young as four and six, they get to come with you too. And if you're one of the very, very lucky many, many women that are in the ministry, you probably will get to have sex with the leader. And if you say you're gonna leave that ministry, you will be told that you will die. That was the defining moment when we actually left. And that was on a Sunday in April. <clears throat> then about 6 o'clock that night, 6.30, I get this email back from him, from David Taylor, this nasty email calling me a traitor, calling me um, that God never validated you like he validates me. You're going to go to hell, you and your family. You're going to be cursed. You're going to die early death of sickness and all this stuff. And here this is a man that's supposed to be having healing um, services and want people healed of cancer and all this stuff. And here he's turning around in the back and cursing you, saying you're going to go to hell and you're going to die, you know, a death. The staff itself, I would say probably 98, 99% do not get any pay from him at all. Thank you, Jesus for letting me get away with treating all these people like animals. We had a family live with us for about a year and they came from another state and they had two little kids. They would go, go there eight o'clock in the morning, they wouldn't come home till 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night, sometimes in the middle of the night. And they got two little kids, like four and six, that were there all day long. And they would come, sometimes they would come home at 11, 12 o'clock at night, tired, they were getting ready to go to bed, next thing you know, they're getting a phone call, asked to go back to the church again, to do more work. Yeah, I was staying, I was staying in the building. I pitched in based off of uh, my, my job income. The, the rest of them, the ministry made them get EBT cards. What? It made them, and to a, to a point that they made them go and pretty much commit fraud. And I say that because the, 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 they will go and like, well, tell them you're, you're homeless, or tell them, you know, tell them this, and tell them you don't have a job, and to tell them that, and it's, you know. Yes, I, so I mean, but, but you know, uh, the, the, the central theme of JMMI is, this is kingdom. While we're having this women's conference, it's a new beginning, it's a new start, it's something fresh coming to your life. And he said, you must speak to my daughters. I have talked to other women who have been sexually abused by him. Um, I have seen texts and emails, very provocative things that he would say to these women and tell them, you know, I want to do this and this and this with you and it's okay for them to do that. Some of the women aren't married, some of the women are married and that's part of what broke up some of the marriages is because he would start texting some of these women and tell them to leave their husband or, you know, you need to be with me and come be my um, spiritual daughter and I'll be your spiritual father. And then they kind of go from there. I've heard of 41 women who have come forward just recently that have had sexual relations with him. And he's not married. Thank you.